All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to another review by Project Science Psycho again with you today. And in this one, as you can see, we're going to be reviewing another racing game. Um, it's called Need for Speed Shift, and, and it's the next one in the series which we are recording. So, um, let's just get on to everything. Need for Speed Shift gives kind of a more professional um, look to the racing games in the Need for Speed series because... Um, the previous games were more of the street racing type and everything, and in Shift you actually get a kind of professional, um, a professional racing um, experience on tracks, on some of the, well, on actual tracks in the real world. Some of them are, um, some of them are really well made on tracks, and some of them are outside of the tracks. So it gives you a different play style to the Need for Speed series. Um, it's really recommended you play it on a steering wheel because it gives you a more pristine experience and is, um, in my opinion, much better. I've played it as well um, in my time when it came out and it was it was a Need for Speed game that really um, exceeded my expectations actually um, because there are a lot of things you can do in this game actually there are classic races drifts 1v1s um, challenges there's a lot of things you can do um, you can collect stars throughout the game um, by completing the challenges in each race and gain as you can see driver profile points um, and the game will kind of profile your driving style on either a precision or an aggression or on a precise or an aggressive driver. Um, to get the precise driver you have to drive kind of carefully, not crash, um, don't do anything reckless and everything. The aggressive driver is kind of the um, the complete opposite of it. You can crash, you can you can get dirty overtakes um, on your opponents and you can actually do pretty much anything you like. A lot of cars have been added to this game, which is a really nice touch to the game because you can pick whichever car you like, um, and there is a giant collection of those. Um, they have been they've been made into tiers, so you can just get a Bugatti at the start of the game, but you have to go through through the game and get to the final tier to get the supercars, and you start out with the kind of well, how should I call them? normal or a bit um, a bit weaker cars to just to go with that um, so yeah as far as everything goes I really enjoyed the game when I was playing it before um, as I said it gives a more professional look to the game um, style to the game um, the graphics and everything have been updated so it looks really beautiful um, and it is all in all it's a really nice game if you like if you like the professional racing scene more than the kind of street racing and getting chased by cops and everything so um, I recommend it to all of you guys who kind of like um, more of a racing simulator type games um, in a well in comparison to the the reckless street racing kind of types and everything um, so yeah, that's gonna be all from my side. In the meantime, don't forget to like and subscribe, comment on the videos, and I'll be joining you guys in the next one.